Thanks for joining us. Dusty Sonnenberg, field leader with Ohio's Country Journal and the Ohio Agnet. Joining me today is Steve Reinhardt, and we are at Steve's farm just outside of Eucyrus in Crawford County. It's part of the Ohio Field Leader Roadshow. Steve, first off, thank you for having us today. An absolutely gorgeous spring day. Temperatures pushing 80 degrees. We talked before we came on the air here. You know, a lot of stuff went in the ground about three, almost four weeks ago now. A lot of stuff getting ready to go on the ground. What are you seeing out of some of that early stuff? Sure. Some of the early stuff is uh, starting to get out of the ground now and uh, look uh, looks pretty decent. Uh, we didn't have a uh, uh, cold crusting, you know, soil uh, condition. So uh, when we did get the warm, drier days, we did get uh, the, some heat and, and got stuff germinated and up. Uh, some of the beans right here beside us, we looked at those earlier today and they're just uh, probably be out of the ground tomorrow. They're just starting to break the uh, next through the, the soil and uh, so they're coming, uh, coming up, and and uh, they've been in the ground now for about 20 days. So it's, uh, you know, just uh, been a slow emergence uh, so far this spring on what's been planted. But uh, now we're getting into a period where I think we've got a lot of moisture uh, in the ground, and we've got heat. So anything going in the ground now should be up pretty quick. Very good. Well, tell us a little bit about the farm and the family. Uh, so the farm uh, here in Crawford County, uh, we uh, farm about uh, 1,400 acres, and uh, we do. Uh, some malting barley, uh, wheat, hay, and then uh, the bulk is in uh, corn and soybeans. And I uh, do a, a crop rotation with those uh, different uh, commodities. And um, we, uh, uh, most of our soybeans will go to uh, either ADM or Bungie. And uh, then a lot of our corn goes down here to uh, Hordes, to one of the local hog farms. And uh, uh, we've been able to take some premium corn down there the, the past couple years. and and uh, you know helps us and helps them. Certainly. Let's talk a little bit about the farm and your production practices. You mentioned you do sort of a uh, mixed bag of all, all different types of tillage uh, to go along with your crops. Tell us sort of what the system looks like. Sure, so we can do anything from uh, all the way from no-till to conventional till and uh, so we've, we're trying to experiment with some cover crops and uh, we do some uh, no-till with some cover crops. We do some no-till without. Uh, we've got some uh, I, uh, of course, conventional tillage, which we will do some uh, chisel plowing in the fall all the way through a couple of uh, uh, fitting processes in the spring. And now we do a little bit in between and uh, we may do some uh, cover crops. We try to burn down early and then uh, uh, plant into a uh, stale seed bed type. Uh, or we may take and put our phosphorus down and then try to work a little bit of ground on top of it with a vertical tillage process. And uh, just so we know we don't have that laying on top of the soil. Very good. Will you also, in addition to farming and being a seed dealer, serve on the United Soybean Board? You were on the Ohio Soybean Council in the past. Just tell us briefly a little bit about the work of the USB. Sure. So at uh, United Soybean Board, uh, we have a um, mission that uh, we think that uh, there's a so sustainable soy solution to every life every day. And uh, so we're trying to see how many times we can affect uh, everyday life with a soybean type solution. And uh, we're having a lot of success now with the oil uh, product and, uh, you know, whether it's Goodyear tires uh, being made out of oil, mm -hmm. uh, soybean oil, or whether it be uh, the soles in your Skechers shoes, uh, not to mention the uh, high lake oil, we can uh, uh, a healthier, uh, longer lasting frying oil. Uh, you know, it's just, uh, there's just so many things now that we can do and, and trying to uh, better every person's life with that soy experience. Well, an interesting number that you shared, uh, everybody in agriculture is interested in the return on investment or the ROI. And uh, the soy checkoff has a very impressive one. Share that, if you will. Sure. So uh, part of our uh, uh, kind of the demands of the USDA, uh, we're kind of a quasi-government uh, organization led by 77 volunteer farmers around mm -hmm. the uh, soybean growing region. But uh, every five years, we need to do a return on investment study. And uh, what we found out from the study that was conducted by Cornell about four years ago is currently for every dollar that we're investing in soybean research uh, or soybean checkoff projects, we're uh, returning $12.34 of value back to the uh, soybean farmers. I'd say that's a very good number. Again, my guest today, Steve Reinhardt. We are on the Ohio Field Leader Roadshow broadcasting from Crawford County. Steve, thanks for your time. Thanks, Dusty.